Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Press to Cook. I'm your host, and today we're going to show you how to cook beans in a rice cooker. You may have heard that you can cook beans in a rice cooker, but is it true? And if so, how do you do it? The answer is yes, you can cook any kind of beans in a rice cooker with ease. Cooking beans in a rice cooker has many advantages over other methods. It saves time, energy, space, money, and improves taste. You don't have to soak the beans overnight or watch them on a stove. You just put them in the rice cooker with water and let it do its magic. Step 1. Choose your beans. You can use any kind of dried beans you'll like, such as black beans, kidney beans, pindo beans or chickpeas. Step 2. Rinse your beans. Rinse your beans under running water until the water runs clear. This will remove any dust or dirt that may be on them. Step 3. Soak your beans, optional. Some people like to soak their beans overnight or for a few hours before cooking them. This can help reduce the cooking time and make the beans more digestible and less gassy. Step 4. Add water and seasonings. Transfer the rinsed beans to the rice cooker pot and add enough water to cover them by about an inch. You can also add some salt, bay leaves, garlic, onion, or any other seasonings you like to flavor your beans. Step 5. Cook your beans. Turn on the rice cooker and select the brown rice or whole grain setting if your rice cooker has one. If not, just use the regular setting. Step 6. Check your beans. When the rice cooker switches to the keep warm mode, check your beans for doneness. They should be soft and tender but not mushy or falling apart. Step 7. Enjoy your beans. Once your beans are done, you can enjoy them as they are or use them in your favorite recipes. You can also store them in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to a week or in the freezer for up to three months. That's it. You've just learned how to cook beans in a rice cooker. It's easy, fast, and convenient. You'll never have to buy canned beans again. And don't forget to check out our blog at prestacook.com for more tips and tricks on how to use your favorite kitchen appliances. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Press to Cook.